Hello Teacher Mentors. So far, we've learned how we can set goals for our regions or schools. As mentors, we need data to set goals, measure our progress towards these goals and plan our next steps. So in this video, we'll cover exactly this. We'll cover the data you need to review and analyze periodically and suggestions for conducting a goal review meeting effectively. In our previous videos, we have discussed two goals. Let's understand what data we should review based on the goals. For goal 1, where 100% teacher and student accounts need to be created, we need to review the rostering data. Now you must be thinking what is rostering. The process of creating teacher accounts, creating class and adding students in the class is called rostering. Data can be tracked only for those teachers and students whose accounts have been created. Therefore, creating accounts in the first step to ensure that you get a complete picture of active accounts in your schools, regions, block or district. Now as mentors, you must ensure 100% teachers have created their accounts on the KA platform. You need to track how many teachers from each school have successfully created their accounts on Khan Academy on a weekly basis. The next step is to check whether these teachers have created their respective classes on their teacher dashboards. Third step under account creation is whether teachers have added all their students to their respective classes. Now let us see this as an example. You can collect data on your districts, blocks and schools like number of teachers who have registered, number of classes that have been created and number of students added to these classes. You can see the number of teachers who have created their accounts, their associated classes and number of students added to these classes. You can see schools 3 and 4 have one teacher each who have created their classes whereas all the other schools have two teachers each. Once you have this kind of data, you can identify schools that need support and schools that are doing well. After account creation, the second goal that we discussed was ensuring that students use Khan Academy for at least 30 minutes per week. This can be tracked by reviewing usage data. This data will tell you how much time the students are spending on Khan Academy. You also need this information to know whether they are using Khan Academy for the stipulated time every week. Each student should spend at least 30 minutes per week on Khan Academy. Only when students use it regularly every week, you can see the progress in their learning. If your school is a state partner with Khan Academy, then you will get the data from the usage tracker for your block or district schools from the Khan Academy team. The data will tell you about how many active students or very active students or learning minutes spent on the platform and more. Now please note, if you are a mentor of a private school, which is not a state partner with Khan Academy, then you need to review all the data weekly. Given below are the data points that you can request from your teachers. Student-wise total learning minutes, number of skills leveled up and number of skills without progress. Teachers can get this data from the activity overview tab of the class. For this, assign a day every week and ask teachers to collect the data. Now that we know the data we need as a mentor, let's see how to use this data to conduct a successful meeting. As mentors, we need regular feedback on the progress towards the goals we've set. For this, we recommend conducting a data meeting twice a month with teachers in our blocks or districts. Before every meeting, it would be important to study the program data available to us. In the case of a partner state, also share it with your teachers. In order to save time, plan every meeting and share discussion points with teachers ahead of time. These points could be around discussion on creation of teacher accounts, a discussion on classroom creation, a discussion on student accounts or on student usage. During the meeting, use the data to highlight the progress made towards each of these goals. 
For teachers who've met their goals or have shown good improvement, appreciate their efforts by rewarding certificates and asking them for the strategies that they are using. Make a note of these strategies and encourage others to apply them in their classrooms and schools. Use this meeting to also discuss the challenges teachers are facing, especially those who are lagging behind their goal. Conduct problem-solving conversations with those teachers and encourage them to try out the strategies adopted by successful teachers. Note points related to infrastructure, timetable arrangements, and speak to principals or other concerned officials about it. Congratulations! You are now ready to conduct a review meeting. Do remember that you are collecting data periodically and analyzing it. In case you are from our partner state schools, take a look at the data tracker you've received from us. Once you've done this, note down the successes and challenges that you are seeing, which you want to discuss during the meeting. Also note down the names of teachers who deserve a certificate of appreciation for their efforts. Watch the next video for some valuable suggestions on observation and feedback.